Welcome back guys, my name is Derek with Flip and Drip, and today we're going to be talking about the players I invest in and why. So if you want to figure that out, just stay till the end of the video, it'll probably be a quick one, but uh, let's jump into it. Alright, today guys, as you know, we are going to be talking about the players I invest in and why. I know a lot of people like to invest in the cheap players now because they feel like it's going to boom and it's going to be like a next 100 times player. Kind of just like cryptocurrency is people are like, why own half of a half of a half of a half of a Bitcoin when I can own a million Dogecoin? Well, that's simply because the fundamentals they bring to the table. So my perspective is, ah, uh, well, okay. This card market boom thing that we're in is not lasting forever. Uh, as you guys can tell, it's already kind of coming down, right? So as it's coming down, the people that are going to be hit the most are the most risky players, which means like the Dogecoin of this space right and the dogecoin is more like bowman first first year rookies you know rookies that haven't really proved themselves to be like huge not even like making commercials no box cover no nothing no magazine covers like you're just like oh yeah this is gonna be the one because oh yeah blah, 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 yeah because because uh, whatever you believe in them it's cool you can believe in them if you want now if you believe in them and you're emotionally attached to the player who cares because well, I'm kind of an investor and a collector and same thing. So if you believe and you're emotionally attached to the player, who cares? Truthfully, who cares? Write it out until the wheels fall off. But if you're a strict investor, I think you need to start targeting people that are more solidified and people that have upcoming events like LeBron James, Space Jam, like Derek Jeter with his new documentary coming out. But truthfully, you would have to do a little more research into like people that are about to be inducted into the Hall of Fame and people that are about to uh, end their careers, like Drew Brees, it's ending his career. You know, he's going to the Hall of Fame, Tom Brady, you know, even though those are expensive, but I mean, those are more solidified investments because those people have a lot more on their resume, you know, like they have multiple Super Bowls, MVPs, rookie of the years, whatever it is. Their resume is long and it's impressive. No matter if you like them or not, we got to respect what they do. So my strategy has always been, uh, I mean, trust me, I mean, I, I mean, I do got gambles. I got a couple booming first. I got a couple newer rookies and all that, but uh, that's okay. I like these. Like, I, I sincerely like cards. When I'm having a bad day, I'll just look at these and I'll be like, that's pretty cool. When I look at them, I'm like, I, I sincerely like them. Like they're nice looking cards. And yes, I am an investor, so I do want to make money and I do sell stuff and I flip things and make my money. But at the end of the day, I'm still having fun with it. And my perspective is it's a long-term game. See, this is a once in a generational boom. So when, if I have kids, I'm going to save them for my kids and I'm going to give them to them and be like, here, this is your seed money to do whatever you need. So again, with that being said, if you're an investor, I would stick to more solidified players, more players that have stripes. If you're a gambler, well, maybe stick to rookie cards, Bowman first, uh, you know, XYZ, all that stuff. Depends what sport you're looking at. But yeah, if you're a gambler, stick to the rookies that are like two, three years in. You know what I'm saying? Honestly, I think at this point, Giannis is a solidified investment, even though he's still kind of young in the uh, game, but he's definitely going to be special and he is special. But just my opinion, you could take that and throw it out the window. But yeah, that's really my advice on uh, the players I'm investing in. I look at upcoming events. I look at the resume and I look at how well is the stability of their career, their status, how do people look at them and all the other factors. But anyways, guys, I hope that helped. Let me know what type of players you're investing in. Are you all risk? Are you all, are you playing it safe? Are you buying veterans? Are you buying the old heads? What are you doing? Talk to me. But with that being said, guys, my name is Derek with Flip and Drip and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.